<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ice Cream Sundays on Goddess TV. I am your host, Goddess. I am here with my good friend, Malaya Miller. Hi, everybody. She is um, an activist in so many ways. Um, we will get into all of that in just a moment. Um, she really champions for the people, and she's one of those people that is very um, outspoken. She's not afraid to speak up for the little guys. So we're gonna get into her activism and everything that she has had going on. She has had a very eventful summer. Um, in just a moment, stay tuned. <laughs> So today, before we get into everything, we're going to kind of tell you what we have here because as you guys probably know by now, I have a bad habit of not introducing everything. So um, before the show, as you know, we talk a little bit about what Malaya likes on her ice cream. As you can see, she has a personal favorite. Um, she loves Reese's ice cream. There was three different types. She decided to go with the classic. Um, with Reese's on top, obviously, we have the gummies. You know, we stay with the gummies. I gotta have a gummy. Um, we have these sour straws. Those are something a little bit different, but for my ice cream, I wanted to like jazz it up a little bit. And I know a lot of you are gonna roast me. Don't roast me. Alyssa, don't come for me. I don't wanna hear it. Um, I got mint chocolate chip ice cream this week. Here you go. See? Throw it out. <laughs> Throw it out. <laughs> I like mint and chocolate. And I like mint ice cream. Don't do me. I like mint chocolate chip. Alyssa, don't come for me. I don't want to hear it. Throw it out. Um, Obviously, sprinkles, little brownie bites, and some bananas. Freshly cut. And obviously, we got to have the whipped cream. Extra creamy. Yes. Alrighty, so let's get into this ice cream. Tell me kind of about your start. What makes you so passionate to want to help the people? And kind of tell me about a little bit what, what you do as well. Well, I think it's like, mostly it's just like, when you think about it, a lot of the stuff that like I'm advocating for are things that pertain to me personally. So mm -hmm. like if I'm advocating for like LGBTQ rights or I'm advocating for Black Lives Matter or sexual assault victims, you know what I mean? Like these are things that like reflect on me. And even another thing I was saying to people too, it's like even advocate for people that you know, like your friends or your family that's been through that or that can relate to certain things. Cause at the end of the day, it's like people go through things that they don't talk about and that they don't have anybody to really help them get through the trauma or let them know that like you know you're not alone definitely i completely understand that what do you say to people that don't have the confidence to be able to speak up how do you how do they overcome that in I, your opinion i think in all, in all reality it's like nobody can tell you your truth you know what i mean because at the end of the day it's your truth and you live through it so it's like when i'm saying stuff i'm just like bro this is real life if it makes you feel uncomfortable imagine the victims you know what I, like imagine people that are going through this imagine people that have to deal with this day-to-day -day, everyday type thing completely that is the part that scares you the most because you hear about all of these stories yo and it's like and i think another thing is too like just because like we're from like springfield and everything people think like oh well you know we're a small town stuff like that will never happen but it's like but we also does. gotta keep in mind that one, it does happen, and two, this is real life. Like this isn't like stuff that you see on a movie and stuff. This is stuff going on right now, and you can't keep trying to shelter yourself from the truth and what's really going on. I was just about to say that a lot of people, um, they do have that mentality of, oh, it could never happen to me. It could never happen here. Oh, you know we got the magic shell on deck. We always got the magic yeah. shell on deck. I forgot to say it for the magic shell. And that's what I'm saying. You don't want whipped cream? Mm. Mm -hmm. I need that. My 
mine is turning into more of a milkshake. But it's all right. I like milkshakes too. Milkshake Monday. <clears throat> Don't put it. Mm. Sorry. Mm. So in the wake of everything happening now with the protests, with the riots. I say <laughs> burn it down. Oh, burn it down. And by that, can you elaborate? Because people get scared, and that's the thing. It's a scary thing. Change is a scary thing. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, like, when is it necessary to bring violence into play? I mean, yeah. When you start to see a change. Because if you notice, if people didn't make an uproar about things, it would go, you know, straight under notice. the rug. So because they did all those riots, now is bringing the president's attention. Now he's talking about it. Now people are looking into it. People are making their own views about it. People are being educated. It's being surrounded. Because it's like, all that stuff isn't in the media. Wow, yours looks really good. Even though that ice cream is nasty, but. I can't. Y'all see me. I completely understand that, but why? My thing is, why does it take all of that for us to get something that like is supposed to be a, like a right a basic right it's i think it, it all draws back to the privilege thing you know mm. what i mean mm. how do you define privilege for people that don't necessarily know what it is don't necessarily feel like oh well i don't think that i have an advantage over anybody i've never seen it i say the most basic thing is look at the communities mm -hmm. in our in my community there's a liquor store on almost every corner. Mm -hmm. If I go, it's one here, one here, and then one over there. Mm -hmm. One stop. Yup. There's one around the corner over there, mm, right down the street. Um, literally all of these things, I can walk to all of these liquor stores. Wow, mind you, there's one library that I've one. seen. Boom. Mind you, if you go over to any other areas, you won't, you'll see grocery stores, little shops, the liquor store is probably mad far. You actually would probably have to go to Springfield. Well, the alcohol store. is probably in the grocery store. You see what I mean? Like, it's just your certain surroundings or like, not saying like that, but you know, going to the liquor stores and seeing like, you know, crackheads and people who are on drugs or et cetera. But if you go any other way, you won't see that. You know what I mean? I think this is it, first of all. Mm -hmm. I think it all boils down to also the people in power. Ooh. Where they're putting their money. And they're not putting their money into protecting our communities that's us we got to do that mm -hmm. and why do we have to fight so hard to get stuff that is like basic human necessities why do we have to fight so hard to get healthy you want to know why though because we don't have real leaders like mm. real genuine people that want to advocate for people we have people who are always just money 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 i need money I need this to pay for it. I'll give you this much to keep your mouth closed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, people feel like you can always be bought out. I can always buy you out. I can always buy you out. We don't have people who genuinely want to help other people. I feel that. So it's hard. So like, it's hard to sit there and be like, dang, I want this and this for my school, but nobody's going to be on the same boat as me. You know what's going to actually help you get it. Right. Okay, so... How do we get people to listen then? I've, I've learned this thing because, excuse me. <laughs> Those gummies are hard. <laughs> because we've all learned that like, violence will help for a short time. Mm -hmm. But what happens after that? What do we ask for now? We got their attention. Okay. What is it? And because a lot of them don't understand. And it's like, we're not saying, well, I mean, I don't know. We could probably rebuild Africa. We're not saying like everybody go back to where they come from, but we're saying like, 
How y'all, y'all aren't lunch? the original people either. Thank like, you. y'all are the original people. And if you think about it, Native Americans have a lot of disparities. So many. Exactly. Because of them. And that, like, stems from years and years and years of the past. And it's not about, like, people say, are you slaves now? Are you, like, are you in poverty now? Da-da-da. We but are. Like, yes. Yes. It's a different type of slavery. My grandmother picked cotton for $10 a week. My grandmother was out there picking cotton. Like, you're not going to tell me that it's not close. You're not going to tell me that it's not something that's relevant to today. Yo, people forget that Rudy Bridges is 65. They're still living. <laughs> they ju- we just Angela got- Davis. We just got to go to school together. We just, this is fresh. Jim Crow is fresh. But that's not to go on a soapbox because we're here to inform. We're here to like, you know, we're not here to. But it's also like, know your privilege. Know the it's not about that you have. Whether or not you're racist. It's whether or not. You're helping try to change the views of the people that are racist, the people that are trying to hold us back, the people that don't believe that we deserve to stand next to them in a job interview. I'm just as good as you. I can speak just as well as you. Why am I not qualified enough to get the job because I'm black? And you say we don't want to work. You say we're all living on welfare. Well, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to come get this job. But then when we're competing and we're doing better than you, it's that's a problem. exactly it's a problem. Because why is this black person doing better than me? Because you live on your privilege. Because you don't have to work as hard as us. Mm-hmm. And once we put you in a race to actually have to work, you actually have to break a sweat. You're sweating because we're better than you. Because we've had to work hard our whole lives. I've always had to work twice as hard as you to get half as much. Literally. Why is that fair for me? That's basically what we are here to say. I mean, like, why is that fair? And ultimately, I'm not saying that anything should be given to anyone because I am a firm believer in working for what you got. Everything that I have is in my name. But it's also equal opportunity. Exactly. Like, give us a shot. See us as equal to a white person if i'm sitting here and i have the exact same qualifications as a white person for the same job that's what you should take into consideration taking consideration our qualifications it's just about being able to have those opportunities mm-hmm. and you see that a lot in the modeling industry also Ooh, they want the blonde haired girl the tall girl the blonde like it's just they're scared of, like black beauty mm-hmm but then something like <clears throat> the protest happens, George Floyd happens, Man. all of a sudden we stand with our black girls. How many black girls do you have on the roster? My agency has black girls on the roster, only paying to us when it's convenient. Shout out to Aston. Period. Shout out to the one. Period. But it's just the fact that not enough agencies do that. They take that mm-hmm. into consideration. They see beauty for beauty. You need to see beauty for beauty. Not saying to be the, oh, I don't see color person, because you should. You should definitely embrace somebody's culture, somebody's somebody's differences. I was going to say, realize that people are different. Exactly. Because it's not about being better than somebody because of what you have. It's about being equal, being seen as people. You're beautiful people regardless. White, black, Asian, um, Brazilian. You know, it's just it's just to see people as people. Tell them kind of about your protest and your like advocacy. Just tell them about your advocacy journey. Oh it's funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's funny that you say that because it's like <clears throat> on my end, I don't even see it like that. Hmm. I just see it as me being an individual that wants my voice to be heard and I want these higher up people to know like this is real life this is what's happening so it's like I remember uh, like a couple weeks back 
um, I don't know if you heard about the officer who got fired for like um, her Black Lives Matter protests. She like wrote a post about it or whatever and the commissioner fired her. So me and a bunch of other, um, I guess you say organizers, cause we would, but we wouldn't even see each other like that. We just see us as people getting together. We can even go talk to her and see what's up. So we get together, we go down there and we actually got her like to come out and talk to us. Only to disappoint us because like it was more of her spewing a bunch of BS about oh this was her third strike and you can't really post stuff like that but not saying you can't post but it was more like of her diverticulating from what we were talking about. I think it's more just like I'm black. I'm gay. I came from low income. These are things that I went through my whole life so I feel like I should say something about it. I should let it be known that this is not only happening to me, but it's yeah, happening to other, pe <clears throat> other people. So I don't know. And it's like, when people be like, oh, you know, you're an advocate, you're an activist. I'm like, bro, I'm just a person that's... That's not afraid to speak. That, exactly. Exactly. I just need people to, like, wake up and see, like... But this those is are the type of people that are the advocates because they're not doing it to, like... Get, they're the type of people that are doing it to spread awareness to actually make people listen yeah because it's like wake up wake up police it's easy just mind your business let people do what they want to do My let people thing. live and be black and be chilling what do we really need them for though hmm. like what do like like let's let's not go there not what do they really be doing? Now on Goddess TV, we ain't going there. Nope. What do they really be doing? Besides being thugs themselves. That's what I'm saying. You call somebody some thugs, and yeah. then y'all the one beating us up. Y'all be doing the most thugging. Y'all brothers in blue. I see y'all. So damn blue vibes matter. They there's are, no blue people. I've never seen a blue person. Mind you, my thing about it is they're strapped up head to toe. What are they scared of? What are they scared of? That's how you know. And then they got the audacity to be scared of an unarmed black person. Unarmed as hell. I don't have nothing but my damn wallet. With my hands in the air and you still Hands still up, don't fucking shoot. And what I want to say to, because I have white friends, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I hate white people. Oh, I don't. Too. My really? little brother is white. <laughs> I'm about to go pick him up right now. My little brother is white. Little white boy. My little cousins are white. But they're also black. But to be honest, it's not even about that because their mothers are white. Their families are white. I love them. I've always loved people because they're people. Mm -hmm. And that's what y'all don't get. Like, Love people because they're people and call the people out who don't. That's what we need from y'all. <clears throat> you have black friends. You want to do black shit. You want to say black shit. Y'all want to <laughs> say niggas so bad, but y'all don't want to get down and do nigga shit when it's time to do nigga shit. Talk to your damn parents. Because it's not y'all. We know it's not y'all because we hang out with y'all. But it's the people around y'all who are continuously raising these children to be like them. Mm-hmm. Now, do you want that or do you want to live in a world where you can be with your black friends and your parents aren't talking junk about them? And your parents no issue. Exactly. Because if you think about it, even vice versa, like. Like we never. My open family, their arms to people. We open our arms to all races. If you come to my house, my parents are your parents. The my grandparents are your grandparents. You can ask them for anything. And that's like, that's on everything. You come to love, my house. Just love always it's always love why can't it be that for y'all we didn't do anything to you let's talk about brianna taylor first of all i want to say yo justice for brianna taylor it's weird that she's not trending anymore and that's like I that's always the stuff retweet for her every time. every time i gotta post it i have to there's no reason those officers should even be walking be around walking free and that's the thing. It's like, why do we have to? Because George Floyd didn't get traction until he started riot. Why we got to riot? Why we got to burn shit down? Why we got to do all that? Like, wrong is just wrong, bro. 
Exactly. They should be in jail. You didn't even come in my house. You didn't even knock. You just came in my crib and you don't even know me. And started shooting. It was just ridiculous. And why do you get away with coming into my house and coming into the wrong house? Y'all went to the wrong fucking house. To the person y'all was trying to get. <laughs> It's murder. The person y'all was trying to get is still out there. I'm not saying. And people are probably going to like start talking shit, but I don't care. I'm not saying don't arrest people because people do bad shit. Some people need to be underneath the jail. Some people do. But I'm saying, and this is to the police force, just out justice equally. Mm -hmm. Give justice equally. If you're going to throw the book at one person, throw the book at another person. If you're going to go easy on one person, go easy on another person. Because in the same situation, that looks crazy. And in the same situation, what's the difference? Their race, usually. Oh, Their yeah. sex. We're not saying don't give out justice because if somebody killed my family member and they were walking on the streets, I'd be pissed off. Right. And I would want them to go to jail. Exactly. But don't make it different. Or make the sentence indifferent because they're white versus them being black versus them being Asian versus them being Hispanic. Be equal. Equal. That's it. Just be equal. We're not asking for nothing too crazy. Equal. That's and yeah, the country we built on our back, we can't even get it. And that's what I'm saying. We built this motherfucking country. If you don't give us some... All y'all did was sit in the house. <laughs> Yo. And we can't even, we can't even get a job about you. you all, all them years y'all wanted us to work for you, now all of a sudden, you don't want us to work for you. Oh, because you got to pay us now. Okay. I, I just like, life is great for you. Why do you need to be hateful? That's the thing. Y'all are number one. The I look the top shit all the time. Money, power, everything. I mean, we ate better than them. What they say? But don't cry, period. Okay. Y'all yeah. see me out here. I'm 22 and I look 17. Also, in the orange Cardi shades, let's just take a moment. Um, sidebar. Um, you guys, orange Cardi. Oh shit. They restock on the 16th, but once they're sold out, they're gone. So I gotta. Ooh. Uh huh. Ooh. Shop Orange Party. They're dope. Um, I just got these and I got another pair. When I get the next colorway, I'll show y'all. She says she's not doing a drop, but let's see if I can't convince her. <laughs> Shouts out to Cartier K, um, the curator and creator of Orange Cardi Shades. These are natural. I love them. So cute. That is all the time we have for today. I have to go ahead and get going. We have to give, we have a very busy day today. Thank you so much for joining me. Of course, uh, thanks make for sure, having me. Of course, you're very welcome. Um, I will link both of our socials in the description below and on the page somewhere. Uh, make sure to follow my Leia, get a little bit of inspiration if you're feeling, you know, um, apprehensive about protesting or about just speaking up in general and you want to and you want to learn how you can do it. Don't be afraid to message me. I'm very nice. Okay, I will link all of her stuff down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed your Sundays just as much as we did. Have a good day. Bye. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. Every week sitting down with a new person. Gonna wanna tune in cause they do some cool shit. Ice cream Sundays, we gonna get you right. Ice cream Sundays, we got nothing like. Ice cream, best time of the day. Always does it like. Yes. You recording? Yes. Oh, shit. Well, I'm going to do a seafood boy for that, I think. I'm with it. You need money for crab legs? Want to go half on a box of crab legs? I'm going to box of ice cream. You want to throw down there. That's why I came up here. That's expensive.